Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. For the new giveaway, I have these three brand new 2022 calendars that one lucky winner will be winning. All you have to do in the comments below is let me know what is your favorite season and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will be in touch with you by August 16th. That's when it ends. Good luck everyone. I have some really great fall decor that I'm going to be sharing with you today. This first DIY, I'm starting off with this Dollar Tree ring, these Hobby Lobby beads, and these uh, floral that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm also using floral wire that I'm going to attach the floral and the thankful sign. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is cutting down the floral. It's called wheat, I guess, floral. Um, cutting it down um, to pieces so this way I can attach it to the other side. Um, and this way it's easier for me to attach it to the circle ring. I'm taking some Dollar Tree zip ties. Now I am uh, tying the flora to the circle ring, uh, making sure it's tight. I'm using some flora wire also to support the other ends of it because it kind of felt like it wasn't um, on there very tight. So I'm using just a little more support. And this flora wire I got from Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm taking this thankful sign that I got from Dollar Tree last year, I'm taking some of the floral wire and I'm going to hot glue it to the sides of the round circle. And this way it'll appear like it's just uh, floating or invisible. That's the effect I was trying to get. Now you can use any type of floral if you're trying to recreate this. Um, I just happen to use the more simplified uh, wheat floral. Um, I thought it was more traditional for fall rather than using flowers. Um, also for the sign, you don't have to use that. You can use ribbon or anything like that. I'm just trying to simplify it as far as how I would like it to look in my house. Um, as far as fall goes, I think it's pretty. Now I'm adding some uh, flowers that I got from Dollar Tree in the middle. Um, the little orange flowers, I'm not quite sure what the names are. Um, but you can definitely find these at Dollar Tree. Now I'm using these Hobby Lobby uh, beads and I'm stringing it through the jute twine and I'm going to make a little hanger for the top of the, I don't know if you want to call it a round circle or a little round reef. Well, this is optional. You don't really have to put a hanger at the top because you can pretty much hang it with a little loop on top. But I thought it looked uh, pretty. And this is the end results once it's finished. I think it's very cute and it's perfect for the fall. Very simple and easy to do and on a budget. Okay, so I'm taking this Dollar Tree um, chalkboard and um, I use my Cricut and I'm going to use the vinyl that I printed out or cut out and apply it to the little Dollar Tree thing. This is very easy, cute, and something very fast to do. I seen something like this at Hobby Lobby. You can add more things to this if you'd like, you know, spruce it up, little ribbons, little uh, leaves at the bottom, or little pumpkins. Very easy, very cute, and this is what it looks like. 
So I did end up um, adding some leaves to the bottom of it. Um, I like it a little bit better. Um, plain was fine, but I think this jazzed it up a little bit. So this one's going to be really quick and easy and really turns out really great. So I'm taking this um, Dollar Tree globe um, or dome, whatever you want to call it, and some of these little cute lights. I already went ahead and put the batteries in them. And I have all the floral from uh, Dollar Tree. I'm going to start taking it apart and I will start hot gluing it inside the little dome. So I'm picking out um, a few of the little floors that I want to put in, in the bottom of the globe dome. Um, and then I'm going to start hot gluing one piece at a time. I do have to wait a few seconds and hold it to make sure it stays in place. So I'm working my way around the inside of the dome and hot gluing a little piece at a time. Don't want to overcrowd it because there really is not a lot of room inside that little globe. Um, but it's starting to look really cute. Now I'm taking these other florals. I really got to get the names of these. The tags, I don't know where the tags are. Some have tags, some don't, but these are all from Dollar Tree. So I took some petals off um, some of the flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing it to the base of the dome um, just to fill out the bottom because I don't want just the black just showing through. Now I'm taking the little lights and I'm going to start to hot glue the bottom of the dome just to hold it in place and then I'm going to start wrapping it around the inside of the dome um, trying to get it situated the wire is kind of tricky. So um, little spots, I was putting a little bit of glue just to hold it down a little bit. There was a hole at the bottom of the base that I was able to string the little um, lights through up through the hole. So that's how I was able to get it um, inside the dome. So now I'm finishing wrapping around the lights and um, going around in between the flowers and wrapping it around as best I could to keep it in contact with um, the flowers and now I'm going to close the dome over the top of it and see if I can get it to squeeze in. <laughs> So now I'm testing the light and I turn the lights on. It looks really cute. The little lights shining inside there with the little flowers. It's pretty. Now I'm going to tuck the um, lights, the battery pack for the lights in the back of the bottom of the dome. And I'm using the double-sided tape um, to try to hold it in place. And then I will tape the wire. And this is what it looks like when it's completed. It's really cute. It's very festive. You could put it on your table, your shelf, anywhere. You can add any type of flowers in there if you like. But I think it came out really great. Okay, so for this one, I'm taking this wood that I got from Dollar Tree last year, and I cut it in three pieces at three inches each. Um, I also used some natural wood beads that those I believe I got from Hobby Lobby, and I'm using uh, jet black paint and pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm going to start off by painting the uh, beads. I'm pouring in the paint inside this little container and I'm going to put the pumpkin and kind of like take the brush and brush it around along with the black as well. Now I'm painting the little pieces, um, the black paint, and I'm just going to give it one quick coat. Okay, so now that everything is dried, I am going to start putting it together. Um, I did add a couple white pieces of the beads because um, I think that would break up the pumpkin and the black color. So um, I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree stickers. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take my ruler and just measure to make sure that I'm going to place this um, right dead in the center. So now I'm placing the little beads in between the letters, I'm just getting the feel of how I want to arrange it. And I'm going to take some juke twine and start um, adding the bead to it. This is going to be for the end piece, I'm tying into a triple knot just so the bead won't come apart. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the end of the little piece. So now I'm adding the beads to the jute twine and I'm going to continue and do the same process and hot glue it and um, until I get to the end of the other side of the bee and then um, that will be completed. I got this idea from walking around Joanne's Fabrics. I seen it there. It was similar. Um, so I was like, oh, let me make this. This is really cute. It probably would look better if you can drill a hole straight through the wood and actually put the string through the wood. I think it would probably come out a lot better. But um, for the time being, I think it still looks pretty cute. So this is what it looks like once it's completed, and I think it really is super, super cute. What do you think? I think it's vibrant, it has a lot of colors, and it's really perfect for Halloween. Okay, so for this, um, this is the last and final project. I took the Dollar Tree uh, sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm using the back of it and I'm using some uh, dark brown paint and nutmeg, nutmeg paint and um, I used my Cricut and I'm going to be using uh, the Cricut stencil that I made. I'm taking off the tags off the sign and there's holes so I'm taking some of the spackle from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fill the holes real quick and then I'm going to start painting. So I'm mixing um, some of the dark brown paint with the nutmeg because I'm trying to um, make it look like natural wood, dark wood. So um, I'm giving like the illusion of wood. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the dark brown paint with the nutmeg mixture. Um, and then I'm going to go back and forth with the dark brown paint. Um, and then you'll see it's starting to form, um, it's starting to look like natural wood, like a dark wood. So 
So now I'm placing down the stencils that I made on my Cricut and I'm going to be spelling out the word fall but the A I'm going to be using a leaf So I'm pulling off the transfer tape so I can start painting. So I'm going to be using um, plaster Waverly chalk paint and I'm using this sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start dabbing lightly. Um, over in the letters, um, I did purposely make one of the L's larger than the other L. I'm just trying to make the sign look a little different. Um, so now I'm just dabbing uh, a little bit of the uh, plaster paint and now I'm going to take the stencils off slowly and um, this is what it looks like once the stencils come off. So now I'm going to be using this vinyl that I printed on my Cricut and I'm going to actually apply it over the F. So I bought this from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut out a little leaf off it and then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and um, Mod Podge a little bit on the board and on the leaf. So I'm making this um, string of copper leaves that I got um, last year. I'm not sure where I got it from, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm going to make a handle out of it. I thought it would be a little different. It's got the leaves showing through. And this is what it looks like once it's completed. I did add some jute twine at the end. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.